I love the energy being back on the course this week after spending a good amount of time on the range. Uh, it was awesome getting back to the course where you need to execute certain shots and then actually executing when you are under the gun. So that was a lot of fun. Check out this view, okay? Whoa, that's sick. Just finished up my practice here today. It was absolutely beautiful. Probably the first day in the 60s in Florida all year. So brought my sweater out and really enjoyed my afternoon practice. Um, but I did a little fun drill, taking my shoes off and really focusing on staying grounded, which is something that's super important for me, uh, no matter what I'm trying to change in my swing. So felt great transferring my weight best from my right side to my left. Um, but more importantly, staying grounded throughout that whole process. So heading out for the day and ready to pick it up again tomorrow. So I wasn't planning on coming on the course this afternoon, but I've been super eager to put everything that I've been working on on the range in play. So Sean met me out here and we're gonna chase the sunset, uh, my favorite time of day to play a few, uh, and see how it all plays out. So first shot, I just dropped the seven iron in on the fairway, uh, trying to get started and I almost hold out, literally just looked out. So good first start, <laughs> we'll see how it rolls out from here. First full hole and we both stick it. Nice little birdie opportunities here. Deal. All right, so we got it as many holes as we possibly could. I hit some really solid shots, so honestly, really stoked about where I feel like heading. Sean hit some awesome shots as well. Probably one of the best drives I've ever seen hit. I was two over. Successful day, successful week, and happy to be back on the course. No excuses, you don't need a gym to go get after it, especially now with everyone's limited resources. I literally just pulled over and parked in this empty lot where I'm getting in my, my workout for the day. So, let's get it guys. introduce you guys to my friend Paula Rito we have here today playing at Lost City. So we are on the back nine now, just made the turn, have a little match going. Yeah. I think we're killing it. We're actually on the same team. We're playing some friends of ours that are up on the, uh, oop, they're about to hit. They're about to hit. Hold, please. So fired up from the drives that we just smoked down the fairway. We had a really good talk earlier about being responsible with your own energy and being aware of whether you are a trainer or a fueler. Are you firing people up? Do they enjoy being around you? Are you energizing other people? Or are you draining their energy, being negative, hard to be around? It's tough. Hey guys, so I'm taking over. We're on the 17th hole right here, 180 uh, yards, and a little bit downwind. So Marissa, what are you gonna do? Okay, so I'm gonna play it about 172 because of the downwind. Um, plan on landing at 165-ish. Yeah. So that'll be about a full five. No 
There we go. Let's see it. Alright, we got Paula here doing the pre shot routine. Today was my first full round of 18 holes back. Uh, it felt great after the range work that I've been putting in over the past two weeks. Uh, and I thought that it translated great on the course. So I could definitely feel my weight shifts, transferring a lot better, compressing the ball better. I had three solid birdies. Uh, putting was solid as well. Just a lot of really good shots overall. So it felt great about that. Uh, really great company. It was awesome talking to Paula. She's an old friend of mine. Um, who always has good insight and good conversations as well as some feedback that she gave us about uh, the Olympics that she played in back in 2016. So super impressive uh, being an Olympian and always really cool to pick people's brains and see you know, what takes them to get to where they are um, and, and their experiences that come along with that. After getting a full round in yesterday, it's always my favorite thing, reflecting and doing my stats on the round and identifying what were those positive takeaways and where is that room for improvement. That made me eager to come back out today and work on what I needed to. So I got in a short range session, um, but really quality work on doing some slow motion things, which allows me to emphasize the importance of sequencing, transition, and everything that is so important for me with my golf swing right now. So uh, really emphasize that proper sequencing of moving laterally before rotating, but I definitely see the rewards in that. So felt great, excited to continue working on that the rest of the week and work on the short game as well. Now to end this week, I wanna challenge you guys to be very aware of the energy that you are infecting other people with. Remember, are you draining the people around you and complaining, or are you being a charger and fueling those others and being a source of light and encouragement through all of your interactions? I will leave you with a quote from one of my favorite mentors, John Gordon, who would always say, if you are put in a pot of boiling water and experiencing turmoil and stressors, don't shrivel like a carrot would, but be an egg and get harder and gain strength through that experience. So I hope that you found some good takeaways from this week and we'll be back soon. Oh, 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 oh,